Hey guys, welcome to Ally Edge. So today's video, um, I've been having a lot of people piss and moan and bitch and complain about, you know, hey, you're not working on cars and whatever. A lot of times I don't have time to do videos on the cars that we're working on because we're so busy. So, you know, this this isn't the only shop we have. We have other stuff that, other stuff that we have going on. And uh, whether it's, you know, personal stuff that we're working on or cars or equipment or motorcycles or whatever, you know, like this isn't the only, uh, on my YouTube channel, the stuff that I post, it, it's not the only stuff that we do. But I still appreciate you guys, all your support and your comments and all that stuff. So uh, today I will be doing body work on the unibody. I wanna try to get the body work done, get this thing in primer again, uh, get all the details whipped on the uh, body. And then what I'll do is I'll flip the camera around and show you some of the stuff that I'll be doing. Um, the back of the cab, the welds and grinding, and I got some fabrication that I'll be doing on the back of the bed, building some parts. But today I wanna to get some of this body work done on this thing, so pretty much the, the body's blocked out where it's uh, not gonna be so overwhelming when I get get started back on doing the body work, getting, ready, getting it ready for paint. So that's what I'll be doing today. So I'll flip the camera around and show you where I'm at. So the next thing I need to work on is getting this rust cut out right here and repaired and get this, this uh, splash pan or uh, roll pan get this repaired. <clears throat> um, I need to get the rest of the panels, like the doors, you see them sitting in the back of the cab right here. I need to get those uh, primed because they're starting from the, from the humidity in here, they're starting to get a little bit of surface rust. So I'll have to uh, kind of etch them and get them in primer. The firewall's getting pretty close, but I still have a lot, a lot of block sanding, block sanding to do. A lot of details like this that need, oops, sorry about that. Crap, the camera worked. Little details like that that need to be fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set up the tripod today and uh, I'll start working on stuff like this that needs to be uh, addressed on the body so I can get everything blocked out. I'd like to get the roof blocked out, but I did find some dings and dents and some stuff on there that, uh, I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah, you can probably see that right there. There's some little dings like this, little tiny stuff. I don't wanna to touch, uh, touch the body. That's one of the things I see all, all the time is people touching you know cars when they're working on them with greasy hands. And it's not good to mix, uh, you know, automotive or greasy hands and whatever with uh, paint and body work. I don't have the body work, uh, the body shop done yet. So as soon as the body shop's done, I'll be able to move all these projects in there. But right now I gotta make do with what I got. But anyways, I'm gonna set the tripod up and I'll start doing some block sanding and uh, getting some prep done. A lot of grinding and stuff. I wanna get all this stuff ground out of here, knock all those welds down, everything's welded up so I can get the body uh, epoxied and primed and ready to go. So the next thing uh, that I wanna mention is, and I get this in my videos all the time, is I'm using dirt blocks and then people bitch about, uh, they're like, I thought you used Lucky Blocks. Well, Lucky Blocks is one of our sponsors and that's Lucky Blocks right there. There's his uh, website and all that good stuff. The guy's awesome, he's got some great blocks we use those blocks after the dirt blocks so we use the dirt blocks first and then we block out the truck or car or whatever we're building we do it twice with the lucky blocks sometimes three times if it needs it um, the next step i'm doing right now is this thing is in primer this truck so i'm hitting it with 120 and i already put it on the uh, dirt block and uh this is uh what is this thing it says on here somewhere Anyways, it's about a foot and a half long or whatever. And wear a damn mask, don't be a dumbass. So that's what I'll be doing next. The longer the block you can get, the better. And then uh, you wanna do a cross hatch pattern. So you don't, you don't wanna just keep straight back and forth like this. You know, a lot of times you'll see me doing this, but it's after I've gone cross hatch through the whole panel like this and like this. So that's real important, a lot of people ask. But the other thing I noticed too is people have been in the shop and greasy handprints on here. So that's a big no-no. There's another one right there. So before I start on this, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and I usually do this be between every coat. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna grab some of those blue rags that Larry sent me. And that's these guys right here. And I'm gonna wipe the whole truck down with paint prep. Usually we use prep all but this is kind of the same stuff. It's a wax and grease remover. You want to wipe it down with that 
between every coat. So if you're gonna prime this thing, wipe it down, do that every step. So like right here, here's another greasy handprint. So I'm gonna scrub this uh, panel down that I'm gonna be working on. I'll probably just scrub the whole truck down because I'm gonna be working on the roof and these uh, front panels and everything else today. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so I got the body spotless now. Um, you see all the gloves and rags and whatever. I throw them on the ground so they can dry out. And like I said, I wiped it down with prep ball. I prefer, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I wiped it down with a 5900 waxy grease remover. And that's auto, auto body master supply brand, whatever. I prefer prep ball, but I don't know if there's much difference. These rags here are the ones that Larry sent me, and those are awesome. They're sponsored to us, really nice. Um, these uh, gloves, I use these because you don't want to get that stuff all over your hands. I would highly recommend not buying these gloves. They suck ass. They should go, the whole box should go in the dumpster. But anyways, I'm gonna start block sanding now, and I'm gonna try to keep with the biggest blocks and do the big panels first, and then go back and do with smaller blocks and do uh, you know the other panels. And then as you drop down on these, these uh, body lines right here, you see there's spots like this. That'll have to actually get filler or uh, you know, like some putty. But I'll do it after I sand them. We'll see how much they come out. But this body line right here, you wanna run a piece of tape from here down to block from there up. And then when you come down here, you wanna do the opposite. You know, Did I just put, man, I just put a handprint right there. Can he, you know, wipe that down again. But anyways, I'm gonna start blocking on this thing. So on the very first pass, you know, you can look at a panel and you can think that it's uh, nice and straight. And like I said, I'm using these Dura blocks. And one pass, it'll pick up all your highs and lows and that's what you want. You just wanna keep sanding until everything goes away. And if you have highs, it's gonna show bare metal. If you have lows, you're gonna get this right here. These holidays, there's your lows. So you want everything to be sanded like this, but this is why I was saying to run the tape on here. I accidentally slipped down, dropped over that, that edge, and then scratched the piss out of this right here. Well, obviously I did that to show you guys, but um, you know, with the tape right there, running a couple layers of tape or whatever, the white stuff, you wouldn't have done that. And then that way you're not digging into, you know, a panel that you just worked your ass off on. So that's a good thing. This top piece up here, you're gonna see highs and lows all over the place because it's the top of a bed. And a lot of times if you're looking at the top of a bed, it's like this. So it's kind of a, what would you call that, concave? So you got, you know, the bend here and the bend here and then that center piece kind of drops down. So that's, that's normal. But uh, I'm gonna keep block sanding on this thing and uh, I'll probably just set up the camera and keep working. How's that, can you guys see okay? So the primer that I'm using on this, 
is called uh, Monster Phil 500. Whoa, sorry about the crap camera work. Monster Phil 500, it's made by Show Car Finish. And I was told that you can no longer get this stuff. So I don't know what's gonna happen here. If you guys have any uh, good suggestions, what primers do you use? I'd really like to know that. And I know I'm looking at that Clausen's, but Clausen's you have to buy five gallons at a time. I was talking to uh, the guy that makes Lucky Blocks, good dude. And he was saying that Clausen's, they will only sell you five gallons at a time. And the stuff that we use is 150 bucks a gallon. And the stuff that they sell is like $205 a gallon. So, you know, it's kind of hard to push that off on the customer because that's what's going to happen. But, you know, the prices are going up on everything. And uh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this uh, show car finish stuff. The Monster Spill 500. Um, the other one we use is the Amerabuild uh, primer, which is the sealer. Really like it. I love the way this stuff sands. I love the way it lays down, nice and thick. You can block it out once or twice and stuff is like glass. But anyways, um, I'm gonna keep jamming on this. And like I said, I'll probably just uh, set up the uh, camera. <clears throat> but if you guys know of any primers that you really, really like, that you highly suggest, please leave them in the comments down below. I'd like to find some other primers if I can't get this stuff any, you know, no, no longer. I'd like to be able to order some stuff that's uh, reasonable priced. And I don't want no Napa or you know Summit or any of that kind of crap. I want some high quality stuff. But then again, I've heard good stuff about uh, Summit, so I don't know, you know. Um, I wanna try it out, so if Summit's listening, you know, send me some Summit brand, I'll try it out. High build primer. Uh, or just regular primer or uh, sealer. I'd love to try this stuff out and give it a, you know, give it a shot. I'm just going by what people say. But anyways, uh, appreciate you guys watching.
Come on. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna probably cut that video short or this video short here. Oh man, it's freaking smoldering hot in here right now. My shop's insulated and it's uh it's probably 100 degrees outside right now. <sighs> Need some AC in here. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep jamming on this, working on this bedside, and then try to, you know, don't don't let yourself get overwhelmed because I've done that before. Pick a panel, stay on that panel. Even if it takes you two or three days, just stay on that panel. Finish it by hand, get it perfect, go to the next panel. And it's like biting off one piece at a time. Like my old boss told me a long time ago, <clears throat> one great big job is just a bunch of little tiny jobs put together that adds, into, adds up into one big job. <sighs> Man, I'm out of breath. <laughs> the, the humidity is just thick today. The air is super thick. But uh, I'm gonna just keep sanding on this thing. And like I said, I'm gonna just do one pattern at a time and just kind of walk around. Next thing I wanna do is get the, uh, I got one fender, one hood, and two doors to get into primer. I might start working on those today. I gotta get my roadster out of here. It's behind the car right here. I don't wanna get a bunch of dust and crap all over that. But that's what I'll be working on today. But anyways, pre appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope I didn't bore you. Like I said, leave some comments down below if you know anything about the primers that you guys use and what you prefer and what you want to, you know, try out or whatever. Any, anything you guys want to put down below, I'll try to answer your questions. Thanks so much for the support on the channel. We just hit, uh, like, oh, I think we're, we're getting close to 35,000 subs or something, or something like that. 34,000 subs, something ridiculous. I don't know. I never thought I'd make it over 100 subs, and I can't do it without you guys. I really appreciate all the support on the channel. Um... If I can get up to 35,000 or somewhere in there, I'll try to do another giveaway or something, do something cool on the channel. So uh, please go check out our other channels, Iron Outlaws, and then NZ Mopar Outlaw Customs, and also Iron Horse Garage. Thanks for watching. Later.